Hello and uh, welcome to another edition of LPN Laundry. Uh, it's the show that takes streaming video to uh, my family room where I fold laundry and listen to records. Uh, that's really what it is. I uh, play an unusual uh, record that I've gathered uh, in my travels and uh, in my going here, you know, comings and goings here now, uh, as early as uh, this week, as a matter of fact. And uh, I play one side of it, uh, talk about it a little bit, and uh, towards the, you know, the, like, the last half, we kind of listen to it together. Uh, and I fold some laundry. It's really not about the laundry, but I have been told that it's oddly compelling. This week's uh, edition is going to feature uh, a very unusual record, uh, and I'm very torn about it because uh, it's, it's also kind of tongue-in-cheek, and I prefer things to be a little more earnest uh, when, I, when, I, uh, when I listen to them. I don't like things kind of being a satire necessarily because it kind of takes all the oomph out of me kind of winking at it. Uh, and I know that's a very selfish Gen X kind of way to look at it, but so be it. That's what it's here for. Um, somebody's going to play this stuff. I might as well chuckle along with it, right? Uh, this, is, this week's edition is uh, Ira Ironstrings Stereo Goes Charleston. <laughs> you see what he did there? Uh, stereo Goes Charleston. Uh, it, uh, it is from, well, this person, this one, I picked this up at an estate sale. Uh, so the person who owned this uh, probably is no longer with us, uh, or was a child, perhaps, of someone who is no longer with us. This owned, uh, was owned by a Diane Erdman, uh, and uh, it is dated 1962. Uh, and uh, uh, e there was a brief kind of period in the 60s and 70s, I don't, well, a, a brief period over a 20-year span? Yeah, a brief period a resurgence of a decade, as a matter of fact, in the 1920s. Uh, the Charleston, of course, being a virtually impossible uh, dance that my 12-year-old uh, daughter knows very well. Anyway, uh, we're going to turn this on. It is sort of a space-age bachelor pad version of that kind of 1920s uh, jazz scene uh, sort of thing. And we'll, and we'll talk about it because there is a... Uh, uh, let me just turn it on. Good, good with you. Good with me. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, if only I had a remote uh, or uh, or even a long stick uh, that I could use to push that button uh, over there, uh, or perhaps record from where the stereo is. But then it would probably blast your ears and whatnot. Um, so uh, here it comes. Stereo goes Charleston. This, of course, is the titular uh, song. Uh, it is the Charles, or it's called Charleston, uh, and it's the prime song that people would dance the Charleston to, um, uh, aka you know, a la the Twist. Uh, or if there's a song for Nene. I have posted, by the way, on the LPN Laundry page, uh, as I always do, photographs of the cover, the front and the back cover. I do want to point out this weird, if you look uh, right up below the name Ira Ironstrings, Iron String, Iron there is um, sort of a, like a, some sort of a porcelain doll that kind of looks like a, a flapper. Uh, here uh, on the back cover there are multiple ones. Uh, if they were different sizes, they would be rushing, Russian nesting flappers, uh, but they're not. There is a certain amount of kind of postmodernist to this. Uh, you may get a sense uh, as I read to you the persuasive essay on the back cover. <clears throat> now, here's one thing already that is different about this particular persuasive essay. It's not written by somebody else. It is not written by some sort of music editor or label head. 
uh, or reporter or publicist. It is written by the notorious Ira Ironstrings. This next track, by the way, is I Wonder Where My Baby Is Tonight. How I Made My First Internal Combustion Charleston in Stereo by Ira Ironstrings. It was quite a feat. After all, there are Charlestons and Charlestons. But making an internal combustion Charleston, that's really something I shall recount. Not being politics or bootlegging minded, the only thing for a strapping lad my, like myself to do in the 20s was to go into the arts. I started out by writing the free verse autobiography of my life, but being only 17, I ran out of material on page 7. I dabbled in finger painting on friends' hip flasks and sculpting terracotta mellophones for my music buddies. So funny, right? It was those dirty guys that steered me into the vicious circle that was my youth. Union waiting rooms, casual dates at suffragette sock hops, and after-hours jam sessions where the fellows talked shop, read the classics, and mended broken sax reeds. It was one of those unfortunate events, they always made me pay to come along, that I made my first internal combustion Charleston. It happened this way. A bunch of us boys was whooping it up. I rose to the occasion, mounting a handy pile of secondhand Sersney exercise books I gave forth with, Friends of mine heart, the minuet is dead, turn your talents. <coughs> come with me down Frolic Lane. Cast your flirty, flirty eyes and fiery musical skills toward the rip-snorting, horn-swaggling Vodio do Charleston, the dance craze that's sweeping all. Understandably aroused, my frenzied, cohort, frenzy, frenzied cohorts hoisted me collarbone high and cheered, Charleston, Charleston, rah, 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 Ira, hail! Tears flowed. They were musicians to the core. Fire burned in their hearts. Nothing could remove it. Not rain, nor sleet, nor anison. Harry Gumbo slid a fresh roll into his piano. Thurston Maycomer, my Portuguese stepsister, ran off, with, ran off some arpeggios on her tuba. Next one up, Varsity Drag. King Cone, a triple-tonguing wizard, salved his lip. Memories are made of this. And then there's an asterisk here. Reproductions of tin types taken this memorable night are available gratis. Write for yours to Editorial Department, Warner Brothers Records, 4000 Warner Boulevard, Boulevard, Burbank, California. I promise it's almost over. I cannot adequately describe what happened next. It was an evening that will live in infamy. Fortunately, a fellow of infinite jest by the name of Edison tore himself away from inventing the Morse code just in time to capture this memorable jive. I am as hip to as the next fellow. Session with the aid of two conch shells and a simple piece of string. Pity on those who were born too soon to dance to this lively music. Shame on those who will not cough up the loot for this disc. Fie on those who will not play this on a gramophone. One that you must wind and crank and love. Woe, for this is music to shatter the sensibilities. This, my friends, is internal combustion Charleston in S-T-E-R-E-O, the only way to fly. So, uh, a couple of notes here. One is, it's uh, th this. I, I get the feeling this this was written before they decided that the name of the album was going to be Stereo Goes Charleston, uh, because it keeps referring to Internal Combustion Charleston. <laughs> uh, and uh, they couldn't decide, kind of, I don't know, maybe the headline writer was in a different department than 
whoever was ghostwriting or whoever Ira Iron Strings, Iron Strings or whatever, Wikipedia it and uh, you might find it interesting. I don't know. Uh, but it's cute. It's kind of cute. It's a nice little exercise in verisimilitude. I know. I know. I know. I have an English major. I'm not afraid to show it. English degree, rather. I was an English major, and that's how I obtained an English degree. A Bachelor of Arts in English Language Literature. Oh, by the way, this... The Sheik of Araby. The Sheik of Araby. We went to that last weekend. We were not going to miss our shot. How many people, how many people have said that when they said they, 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 they went to see Hamilton? I was not going to miss my shot. And you know what? God bless every last one of them. Hamilton forgives all. After all, Eliza forgives Hamilton. Spoiler alert. Forgiveness. Can you imagine it? trumpet player, mainly. And uh, so this music is not unfamiliar to me. Uh, is five, yep. Five foot two, eyes of blue. Has anybody seen my gal? this was the kind of music, kind of that Dixieland ragtime, not ragtime, but sort of hot jazz, jump swing, I don't know specifically what it is. But actually the Fugates, at least uh, my extended family on the Fugate side, very musical. Uh, we would have family reunions, and they always had, they, there was always a few musicians, and they would just kind of jam, and it was usually, usually, um, pants are a little too long to fold in this setting, but usually there was just a little, little pickup jazz session, it was usually classics, usually the old standards. You know, before all, all the filthy language. And jungle beat. Never realized how mildly racist that term is. Or not so mildly. Has anybody seen my gal? And the only, I, I think the only uh, description given in the song is five foot two in eyes of blue. Maybe there are other distinguishing marks given. But I don't think so. Oh, you may be wondering what the name of this song is. Oh. Oh, this is the last one. This is Barney Google. I know. What happens if you Google Barney Google? Does the universe break? 
uh, Barney Google was, I believe, a cartoon character. Uh, possibly a comic strip. It's possible that Beetle Bailey is an offshoot of Barney Google. Barney Google with the goo goo googly eyes. That was kind of the thing. That was Barney Google's thing. He had the goo goo googly eyes. Which, by the way, actually. <laughs> of course. The trumpet winning. just like that it's over uh i'm actually a little a little sad i know i was uh ripping on uh on the tongue-in-cheek aspect of uh of the packaging of this record but the music cell the music itself actually is uh pretty straight up uh earnest whatever that uh you know charleston era jazz 20s thing uh whatever that was uh it it did it pretty Honestly, uh, so really the only thing that was uh, annoyingly hipstery and annoying to me, uh, because that's the kind of stuff I did in my 20s, uh, that, uh, that it, you know, that was probably just my own resentment really coming through there, don't you think? I don't know, I should really see somebody rather than pouring it all out to all of you. Hey, uh, that's it for another uh, LPN Laundry, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we will reconvene uh, next weekend uh, with a whole fresh load of uh, probably the same clothing that you've seen me fold before, but it'll be a completely different record. Uh, and uh, Oh, and also, if you enjoyed this, please share. Share the video. Uh, share the page. Do it today. Do it tomorrow, do it next week, share an old video. Uh, just let people know, hey, here's this thing. I kind of dig it. Maybe you kind of dig it too. Or don't, just come back next week. Uh, and we'll, we'll have a good time listening to something else. Have a great week, everybody.